Sport 5 weather. Here is a view from this morning off of Cheyenne Mountain. No clouds in the sky, a very nice sunrise here in the Pikes Peak region, but you can see the cloud, the trees shaking around a little bit. That's because we have some healthy wind gusts this morning. Now, I want to briefly touch on the Oak Ridge fire before we talk about the rest of our day. Containment as of the update this morning is now up to 50%, still at 1193 acres right now. Winds are not that strong at the center at the fire itself. They are stronger for us right now along the eastern plains. We had a warm push move through overnight. It's bringing in warmer air today. It also means right now we're looking at 25 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts on the front range corridor, much weaker winds. And other than that, it's a very nice morning across the entire state. We had some showers overnight in places like Springfield up toward Lamar. They've all moved out, so the entire state we're all looking at sunshine at the moment. Temperatures already up into the middle 60s to lower 70s. Thanks to all that sunshine, we're at 67 in the Springs, 66 in Pueblo, Eastern Plains, upper 60s to lower 70s for you. And we're still in the 40s up in the hills right now, still at 47 degrees in Woodland Park. If you're going to the Pikes Peak or Bust Rodeo Parade today, it's going to be very comfortable. At 10 a.m., temperatures in the mid-70s, plenty of sunshine. That trend continues throughout the morning. You'll definitely want to grab the cowboy hat and also the sunscreen. There will not be any clouds in the sky to take anything away from that very potent July sunshine. 1 o'clock this afternoon, we'll start to bring in a few clouds, a trend that will continue into the afternoon, giving us the chance for some isolated storms later on today. Now, most of today's weather, we can thank this big dome of high pressure off to the west for. That's giving us northwest airflow today, which is generally going to be pretty dry. But we do have a weak system draped over the area as well. That is going to try to destabilize the atmosphere just a little bit. So futurecast looks like this. As we head through the rest of the morning, we keep generally clear skies. Afternoon, we will develop a decent amount of clouds up in the mountains and on the I-25 corridor, and we'll see some isolated showers and storms this afternoon. You don't see them here on this particular model. I do think we'll see a few showers in some of these places. You see the most concentrated clouds forming, uh, but overall, they're not going to be that big of a deal. We might hear a few rumbles of thunder, but not much to write home about. Some of the storms could turn strong right along the Colorado-Kansas border, but for most of the area, these are garden variety storms. That's a different story on Sunday. A cold front's going to swing through from north to south during the morning, and that's going to lead to cooler temperatures and upslope flow for us as we move through your Sunday afternoon. So several chances for showers and storms starting late in the morning and continuing for most of the day. We could see several rounds of showers and storms as we head towards Sunday night. Highs today, they're going to be comfortable. I've got us at 88 in the Springs, 94 in Pueblo, 70s up in the hills. If you are traveling today, it's going to be hot in the west, stormy in the south. We're still looking at a lot of moisture in the southeastern part of the country. But for us, our storms will arrive tomorrow. And you can see I'm going to need to get rid of this icon on the next hit. So this will be on all of the icons, just to forewarn you. But for tomorrow, this is, we have a 3 out of 5 storm impact. That cold front knocks us back down temperature-wise, multiple chances for showers and storms. And then as we fast forward ahead to Tuesday, we're going to start to dry out. That's going to be a mainly nice day with an isolated late afternoon storm. In Pueblo, we'll be down into the 80s tomorrow, and then we'll be back to seasonable by the middle of next week, and then warm by the end of next week, Canyon City. Storm chances from Sunday to Wednesday next week, generally the best chances in the afternoons on Sunday and Monday. And then finally, Woodland Park. Daily storm chances start tomorrow, last all the way through the seven-day period. But the best chances are Sunday and Monday.